to bring you April's Video Kit Club. I am going to be using the Botanical Ruffled Peony Stamp Set. Isn't that just gorgeous? Check out all these fantastic stamp stains. Really super, you can use these for innies or outies. You can put these on the outside of your card or stamp them on the inside. And then uh, the other stamp set available this month, not in this kit, but available this month, is the Vintage Peony Inspiration, and that also beautiful. These are brought to you by Donna Ellis. We have a third stamp set available at sparkleandsprinkle.net, so make sure you check that out, as well as all of our designers' fantastic cards for additional inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy all these tips, tricks, and techniques brought to you by, brought to you by Sparkle and Sprinkle. All right, so to get started, you're gonna take your beautiful stamp set, 938, 938. And this is Botanical Ruffled Peony. And we are going to be using this stamp set. I'm gonna be using the Hello Sweet Friend, but this also has Where Flowers Bloom, So Does Hope, and May Your Day Bloom with Happiness. Um, something really, really tiny like this, you could definitely use a detail embossing powder, but also just using a dye ink to stamp out more detailed words makes for a nice clean stamp out as well. So you are receiving the card blanks in your kit, but usually when I am embossing, I like to have just a, an actual piece of card stock and then adhere it to my card base. So your call, sometimes I work right on the card base, but with this particular one and due to the embossing, I am going to work on a piece of cardstock. Same size as my card base, the four and a, hold on, I'll tell you the exact size that your basic card base, the four and a quarter by five and a half. Thank you, I don't know why I blanked out there, but that's how it works, right? Okay, so we are gonna be embossing. I'm gonna take my static free bag and just go over my cardstock there that I'm gonna be embossing. And then I'm taking the large flower from the stamp set. Uh, make sure you check out the other one this month, which is really beautiful as well. And I love the stretched out sayings that come with the other kit as well. All right, so I'm gonna take my Versamark or use an embossing, an embossing ink. Because we're using a semi-transparent, you're gonna wanna use a clear embossing powder. I mean, a clear embossing ink, sorry about that. Because we're using semi-transparent embossing powder, you're gonna to wanna to use a clear embossable ink. So there's this, or we've also used in the past the, the uh, tonic, which has a clear embossable ink. And I am gonna go like this. So I'm stamping my stamp out on the bottom left here of the card. And my ink pad is really dirty because I actually stuck this stamp in it with black ink on it. Look what I did. Can you believe that? Lazy, lazy stamping habits. All right, and now I'm gonna take the same stamp again and I'm gonna go right there. You could stand up, give it a little extra push. This is a very detailed stamp. So you want to make sure you get all of those nice details. And then I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. Actually, we're going to go and do the, I take that back. We're going to do the leaves around the edges right now. So I'm going to take this first leaf here and just ink it. And we're going to do a stamp out there. They're so beautiful. I would use this on all sorts of different stamp sets. All, so <laughs> all sorts of different cards. Wow, I am really struggling with the words today. Just ignore me. Just throw that in there. Such beautiful leaves. 
such a fantastic job on this stamp set. Donna, the other Donna, or I'm the other Donna, because the other Donna came first. Okay. Stamp that out. And because my because my ink's a little dirty, it actually works in my benefit because I can see it better. So it's got that light gray tint to it, so I knew exactly where to place them. Just make sure you're working with really good lighting, which is currently not the case because I don't have all my lights on. That helps a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And now we are gonna do some batik embossing. So I'm going to start with my flowers and we are going to be using the mulberry embossing powder. And this is a really cool, like a matte finish. And I am just going to kind of sprinkle it in to my flowers. Like I said, if your ink is completely clear, you just want to make sure you have really good lighting so you can see where your flower design is. And it always helps to have the stamp set out so you can actually see the shape of it. That really helps. And then what you're gonna do at this point is give it a good flip. So you don't wanna pour it, you wanna give it a flip. So I did that there. And then while I still have the mulberry out, I'm just gonna do a light sprinkle into my leaves. So just, a, just adding a little bit of pink into my leaves. You know, nature, not everything is perfect. So I really like to, with the batik embossing, kind of mix up my other colors to pull from the flower and draw your, your eye towards the leaves as well. Something I used to do when I would paint canvases for homes is I would add some of the home paint into my canvas so it really coordinates with my finished canvas piece. So as you can see, look at I just sprinkled a tiny little bit here and there into the leaves. Got our mulberry. Next, what I'm gonna take is sage, which is also included in your kit. And this is the semi-transparent cosmetic glitter, a glitter embossing powder. Woo! I am having fun today. Only drinking water, folks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this sage, again, I am not going to completely cover up because I want my leaves to also have a little bit of gold. So I am going to sprinkle over my leaves, but I'm not doing full coverage because like I said, I want my final color to be gold and I want that in my leaves as well. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a random sprinkling that I'm doing, a little random sprinkling. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you can only laugh at yourself, really. Like when you can't formulate senses anymore and choose the right words, just laugh and enjoy it because what else are you gonna do? All right, again, I'm going to flip. Okay, now I am going to take my final gold detail pour that out And now I'm covering everything. So I'm covering my flowers, I'm covering my leaves, I'm covering the card, everything is covered. And then I am simply going to tap that off. Now clearly I've gotten my fingerprints on this here. So what you can do to get rid of that is you could take a dry brush or you can go, that's all gonna be covered anyways, and since I don't have a dry brush in front of me, I'm just gonna use my fingertips. There we go. But before you heat set, you can always just take a little dry brush. This one isn't pretty, but so you get the hint. Well, and it's wet. Just wipe away any embossing powder before you heat set. All right, I'm gonna take my gold EP and set it aside. And now we are gonna heat set. Okay, take your heat tool. All 
Okay, and now that's heated, you can really see how beautiful, see the gold? Because the mulberry wasn't a detail powder, the detail gold just goes in and fills in all of the little holes in there. And then see how nice just the little addition of the little splats of the mulberry onto the leaves? So really turns out lovely. And then you've got that beautiful shimmer of the sage embossing powder, and it's got that light green hue to it, as well as the gold in the tips of the leaves. So I really love the way that turned out. I hope you like it too. And then next what we are gonna do is you're gonna have two other hexagons in your kit. And one is gonna be on cardstock, the smaller one. This is where you're gonna stamp out your seine. So I'm gonna take my Versamark ink out, and like I said, I'm using the Hello Friend, Hello Sweet Friend, and ink that and stamp it. And then I'm also going to ink with my Versamark a couple of these uh, leaves and just go ahead and do like a little addition to the edging and then heat set. And once you've done that, you've got this beautiful seine with that beautiful detail gold embossing powder and a nice little sweet embellishment on the top and the bottom of that. Now your second one is a little bit larger and this one is on your glitter paper, your sticker paper. Hmm. Let's see, maybe we should be playing a drinking game. And every time I screw something up, you can take a shot of iced tea. <laughs> okay. So I just pe crack and peeled my sticker paper, poured my gold embossing powder on it, and then simply heat set. Once you've done that, you end up with this beautiful gold embossed border. So this is just one layer. You can go over it again with your Versamark and add another layer and have an even more solids. Cause see how that has just a little bit of bumps in it? You can have an even more solid background, but I'm okay with the one layer. All right, so now that we have completed these two, I'm gonna take a little bit of terrific tape which is all the way on the other side of my desk and stick that. So we've done our embossed background. We have done our seine. And I'm just going to layer that there. And now you see why I wasn't super particular about my background because you're just seeing a little bit of the gold. And those connect really well together. And I'm also going to grab my giant crocodile. Mm, no, you know, that is a little too big. I wanted to do a hole punch, but that's kind of massive. So I am simply going to was looking for my craft pick, but you know, that would have been way too easy if I found what I was looking for at that moment. So I am going to just poke a little hole here, just like that. And I am going to poke a little hole here, just like that. And we are gonna add some brads, add some brads. So I am going to simply take my tiny little brad here. And a really simple technique. And you're gonna probably be receiving in your kit the um, plain silver brads. I just, of course, don't have any. All my brads are like colored. So this is one from a kit we used in the past and this is like a bronze brad. But we're gonna turn it gold to match our embossing powder. So just simply heat set your brad. and dip into the gold and then heat set. Let that dry. Do not touch it because that is going to be really hot. Basically, you just heat up some metal. So let that cool 
for a good minute or so. And then I am just going to pop that in there. My hole punch on my crocodile is kind of big, so I didn't want to end up using that one. And then I'm going to do the same with another one, just heat set. Let that cool. And now you also know the trick, if you wanted to add glitter, you would just heat that up again, dip it in glitter, heat, and you have nice glittery ones. But I just wanted to add a little a dimensional embellishment. So see how cute those brads are? Just like that. All right. Now we are going to, now that we finished all of our embossing, we are going to do one more cool technique and I'm gonna take the larger hexagon that you get in your kit, crack and peel, it's permanent adhesive, sticker paper, there we go. And you are also going to be receiving this really cool lace. I've had it for quite some time and been wanting to incorporate it into a video kit club and then thought of using this technique with this kit. So I've been storing this for you for a while. Now, if you notice, one side of your lace is kind of raised and the other side is flat. So stick down the flat side onto your sticker paper. Once you have it flipped over, I'm gonna take my pen here and I'm just brayering my sticker paper onto my piece of lace, just like that. So now that is nice and adhered. Then I am going to add this, just for this kit only, this is Peony Pink. And this is an exclusive glitter just for this kit. It matches so nicely to the Mulberry Embossing Powder. If you're not a kit member and you want to get your hands on this glitter, you can order the kit for this month. So all of you kit numbers know, members know the perk of being a kit member is you get your kit every month for a great deal. All right, so I sprinkled my glitter on. I just pushed it around with my finger tool, tap off the excess glitter, set that aside, and then now we are going to peel off our piece of lace. So you can use your lace over and over again. And it's such a cool design. I got it at a little fabric store here in Los Angeles. Really cool wall-to-wall -wall lace background. Some of the most unique patterns that I've never seen. So check that out. All right, I poured some of my gold detail and now I'm just gonna lightly rub that around I don't really want to push any of the loose glitter off into my gold detail, so I'm just kind of lightly rubbing that around, and then I'm going to tap it. Set my... And now I'm going to do one more really good tap, but I didn't want to do that over what was going back into the jar. Okay. Once you've completed that, you're gonna take your heat tool and heat set. Now I did the glitter first and then the embossing powder, but if you want it to be more glittery, you can do the embossing powder first, peel off the lace and then sprinkle on the glitter and it will be more of a glittery, glitterier background. That's not really a word, but you know what I mean. Okay, once you've completed this, we are going to just do a little court accordion folding back and forth. And I'm doing about a quarter of an inch. If you are mailing this card and you wanna do it smaller because you don't want it to pop up too much, you can do that. So keep that in mind 
that if a quarter of an inch is gonna be a little too big for you to ship it, then you can do a smaller accordion. I like the quarter of an inch because it goes by a little quicker. We all know how patient we are. Okay, and done, just like that. And now you've got this really cool background that we're gonna use. I am going to tape it together in the middle. And just to show you a difference between using the glitter first and the embossing powder first, this one is the embossing powder and this one here is the glitter. So see the difference? You get a lot more sparkle if you do the, sorry, this one's the embossing powder first and this one's the glitter first. So there's a little bit of a difference for you. And then I am basically going to fold these together and then I am going to add some more terrific tape across the back here. You can also use glue dots, whatever type of adhesive. Just make sure it's a nice strong adhesive. That's why I like to use the terrific tape. Just like that. And this is going to be for my background. And I'm gonna stick that right about there. And now with your seine, you can go ahead and build up with some pop dots so it's tall enough. So I'm gonna probably add three of these just so it's tall enough to support the background. And you'll see what I mean. Right now I'm speaking gibberish. So I just layered three of those on here and I'm gonna attach that right to the back so it supports it. And then go right about there. And looks like I could use probably one more. These are pretty thin. If you have some thicker ones, I'll use two more. If you have some thicker ones, you might not meet, need as many. So I've got a good layering system back there. Straighten that out. There we go. And now I'm gonna attach that to my card base. Now something else I did in my sample when I was creating it is I took like a blush or a really light pink um, watercolor. If you've been a video kit member for a long time, you've seen me use the pearlescent watercolors. And basically, I'm just going to activate the blush color, the really light pink. If you've got watercolor pencils, you can use a really light pink or make a, a color out of the, you know, a darker pink and the white. But like I said, I'm like using a very light, like an ivory blush color. And I just went inside of my flowers here so they didn't have a white background and also did like a halo, like a little shadowing around them. Might not be very easy to see. It's a really light effect. Might not be really easy to see on the video. but you can definitely see it in person. It's a very sweet shadowing, so your flower is not white on the inside, just like that. And then attach that to your cardstock. If you wanna take your glue pen and add a couple little glitter accents, you can do that as well. But other than that, you are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's Video Kit Club using the Botanical Ruffled Peony Set, where you get three embossing powders, one brand new specialty glitter paper, your brads, your sticker paper, your cardstock, and your stamp set. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Have a wonderful month of April. Bye-bye.